family fortunes. And tonight's families are the Abbott family. And they're playing the Keeble family. And now, here's your host, Les Dennis. Good evening and welcome to the show. Yes, we've been busy with our survey all week. We ask our two families to match the answers with a chance of winning £5,000 and if they can find the top answers in big money, a choice of star prize. Either this top-of-the-range family car... This estate with colour-coded bumpers and mirrors has everything you could possibly want in a top-of-the-range high-performance car. And in this model, it's all part of the package. Or the holiday of a lifetime for up to 12 people. Yes, this week's South African Airways holiday is to Cape Town's bustling harbour frontage at Table Bay. In the words of Sir Francis Drake, the fairest Cape in all the circumference of the earth. Come and meet Mary. Shake his hand, but watch out, it's really strong, isn't that? Strong yeah, shake, it is, isn't it? Top six answers in this first game. We surveyed 100 people, as in all our games. We asked 100 people to name something you can do in the bath, but not in the shower. Bernard. Play with ducks, Les. <laughs> is that what you do? Yes, yeah, definitely. We're looking for playing with ducks. It's answer number four, but there are three more popular ones. Mary, can you find one and take control of the board? Sit down, Les. Mary, you can sit down in the bath. Yes, it's answer number three. What are you going to do? Yeah. We're going yeah. to play a Play, rejoin your family, no conferring, and, of course, the Keebles, think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. Margaret. Sulk. Hang on a minute. I haven't, I haven't talked to you yet. You did this today, didn't you? You don't want to be talked to at all, do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> you a bit, are you a bit nervous? A little bit. A little bit. Hold my hand. You'll be all right, OK? Mm -hmm. Does that make you feel better? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Margaret? Um, soak. You can soak in the bath. Well played, in terms of number two. <laughs> Jesse, you have a huge family, don't you? Yes, I do, really. Yes? Yes, I yes, have. OK, and you, uh, you entertain them. How many, how many grandkids have you got? I have 19 grandkids. 19? Yeah, and you entertain all of them, don't you? Yes, and I've got 11 great-grandchildren also. 11 great-grandchildren? Yes, you I don't look them. old enough, Jessie. Yeah, yes, I am. <laughs> you are? Well, you, you look fantastic on it. Thank you. How do you entertain you. them? I, I used to tell them stories, and I used to play the spoons. You brought your spoons <laughs> with you, haven't you? No, they did. Play the spoons. Go and give us a bit of the spoons. Oh, my goodness sake, Les. <laughs> right. That's it. Excellent. <laughs> I bet the kids are riveted with that. <laughs> Jesse, what do you think? Uh, you can lie down in the bath. You can lie down, Jesse thinks. <laughs> it's a top answer. Lie down or relax. No, we haven't said it. We said sit. And we have a prize for Jesse. Peter, what have we got? Pop your cork with this prize, Jesse. You've won a cracking case of wine. Oh, thank you. Right. <laughs> Would you like a drop of wine, Jesse? Fantastic. Liz, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, Liz, what do you think? Add bubble bath. You can... Make bubbles. Something you can do in the bath but not in the shower is you can add bubble bath. Bubble bath. Make bubbles. <laughs> We're going to number six and it's not the way you're thinking, you lot. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Hi, Isa. Hi, Liz. You're a football player. I used to be, Liz, yes. Yeah. Long time ago, yeah. Yeah. On a Sunday league, the Preston ladies. Right. Mm-hmm. And you went to, over to Italy to play, we did, didn't you? yes. We were sponsored by a local pub. You played some great teams, didn't you? We played Juventus, yes, and Turin. Yeah? But we didn't only play them. We, we didn't play as Preston ladies because they didn't know Preston. We played as Manchester United one game. Did you? <laughs> Liverpool the next You said game. you were Man United? Yes. And, and then said you were Liverpool? No, but we won. I mean, we beat, yes, we won. You beat Juventus? Then, <laughs> well, maybe they weren't Juventus. Maybe, maybe they were kidding you. We beat them anyway. You beat them anyway. <laughs> OK, what do you think, Isa? Put your head under the water. Put your head under the water, Isa. You can put your head <laughs> under the water. <laughs> you can put your head under the water in the shower. No. It's there. It's your head's under the water. We lose a life on it. So, Mary, what do you think? Um, wash your feet. OK, Mary, if wash your feet <laughs> is up there, I'll give you the money myself. We're looking for yeah. <laughs> Wash your feet. <laughs> so, two lives have gone. Margaret. Pass, sorry. Pass, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was Chanta. We go over to the Keebles. Chance to steal. Dave. Lose the soap, Les. Lose the soap. Scott. Fall asleep, Les. Fall asleep. Guy. S smoke, Les. Smoke, Guy. <laughs> Eat something. Eat something. Bernard. 
read a book, Les. Yeah. It would be Pulp Fiction, wouldn't it, by the time you finish? <laughs> yes. What are you going to go with? in the shower, anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah. We're going with read a book, Les. All right, Bernard. I like the, the arms folded there. It's like a real team manager, that. <laughs> no, you've got to show authority. You have you? got to show authority, haven't you, Bernard? We're looking for to steal, read a book. Yes! yes. Well, yes. Well, yes. Well, You have the £94 in the bank. There are no answers to reveal as we play on round two. <laughs> Come on, meet Paul. Okay. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something that needs wind to function. <laughs> Margaret. Sailboat. A sailboat. <laughs> is answer number three is a yacht, but there are two more popular ones, Paul. Windmill. A windmill. Otherwise, it'd just be a mill. <laughs> a windmill. <laughs> it's the top answer. What do you want to do? Hey, rejoin No Conferring. Now then, Guy, you went to a hotel with who was it? Well, it was with my dad, unfortunately. Was it? Yeah, I've often been away with my mum and dad to stay in various hotels in the past. What do you mean, unfortunately? What was wrong with going well, to a hotel with your dad? My dad's snoring often gets too much, and one night it just got a bit too frustrating. I got my quilt together and went and slept in the bath. How can you sleep in the bath? Well, it was all right. It's better than sleeping next to him, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Guy, what do you think? I think uh, windsurfer. A windsurfer. <laughs> Good thinking, but it isn't there. Scott, your first day at work was a bit of a disaster, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare, Les. Why? Yeah, I'd only been there a couple of hours. Uh, I was walking around the office, meeting and greeting a few people, not really looking where I was going. Didn't notice a, a lead that was connected into the wall and hooked up to a computer running between two desks. Yeah. And I uh, tripped over it, crashed down on the floor, computer screen came down on the floor. No. Picked myself up, pushed myself down, I thought, well, that's... The embarrassing thing over the way, out of the way for the day. Um, went out for lunch, got back, tried to get in the front door, and it was uh, it wouldn't open. And I thought they don't want me back. They've locked the door and gone home. So I thought I'd give it a bit of a nudge and ended up putting my shoulder through the window. <laughs> so, did you? They did. All right, what do you think, Scott? A washing line, Les. A uh, washing line needs wind to function. <laughs> Two lives have gone, so it means the Abbots might get a chance to steal. Hiya, Dave. Hi, right, Les. All right, what do you think? Uh, fly a kite, Les. Play a kite. <laughs> kite is actually really too well played, Dave. We have a prize for you, Peter. You won't be taking the bus anymore, Dave, because you've won yourself a set of driving lessons. All right. Great. I thought you'd won a car then. <laughs> you, just just well, the driving. Car, you know, I was just saying. the L plates and the driving <laughs> lessons. Great. Well done. Bernard, what do you think? I think a church organ, Les. We're looking for a church organ. <laughs> so, musical instrument is actor number six. Well played. Three people said it. Paul? Um, a weather vane. A weather vane? Let's have a look for a weather vane. <coughs> no, so we lose a life on it. A chance for the abbots to steal, Isa. Glider, Les. A glider? A whistle. A whistle? A balloon. A balloon? A wind chime. A wind chime. Mary? Um, I was going to say a balloon as well, Les. OK, which one are you going to go with? We're going to go for a balloon. To steal a balloon. <coughs> no, so it means the keyboards get the money that works the hard for. The missing answers, number five. Is a glider. Answer number four on something that needs wind to function is... Wind chimes. You said both of those and didn't go for it. You went for balloon. Let's play on round three. Come on. Come on. Meet Guy. OK, top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something non-living that makes a noise in the home. Jesse. An alarm. An alarm yeah. bell. Good thinking, but not there. Hard luck, Jesse. Guy. Uh, kettle, Les. A kettle? Here's answer number five. You have control of the board. What are you going to do? Play, we'll play, play rejoin, no conferring. So we come to you, Scott. What do you think? Um, a telephone, Les. All right, Scott thinks the telephone. <coughs> Good thinking, but not there. Dave? TV, Les. The telly? Here's answer number three. Well played. <laughs> Bernard? A hi-fi makes a lot of noise in my house. Does it? <laughs> They're always playing it, are they? Yes, yeah, so. They're looking for the hi-fi. <coughs> so, two lives have gone. The abbots might steal. Paul? Um, a vacuum cleaner. All right, Paul thinks a vacuum cleaner. Hoover, whatever. <laughs> yes, well played. You have a prize as well. Let's hope he's not a vacuum cleaner. What have we got, Peter? Well, smile, Paul. You're on camera with this cracking new digital camcorder. How's that? <laughs> All right, Paul. Guy, what do you think? Uh, microwave, Les. Microwave goes ding. Does it make that much noise? 
<laughs> no, so we have the Abbots with the chance to steal Isa. Grandfather clock. The grandfather clock. Spinner. A spinner? Jesse? A washing machine. A washing machine. A hoover. A hoover. We've already looked for vacuum and it was there. Mary? Fridge. 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 Noisy fridge. What are you going to go with? Washing machine, Liz. Okay, Mary, we're looking for a washing machine to steal. We're looking for a washing machine. <laughs> yes! Washing dryer with the shop open and next 31 pounds in the bank. The missing answer is number six. <laughs> it's the central heating pipes. And answer number four on something non-living that makes a noise in the home is... The clock, the grandfather clock, you would have got that as well. So, at the halfway stage, the Keebles have £187 and the Abbots have £31. Right now, we're going to have a break. Join us in a couple of minutes for Double Money and Big Money. We'll see you then. Play double money. Okay, Liz, meet Scott. Hi, Scott. Double money means just that. All the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. Top five answers. We asked 100 people to name a kind of animal used in advertising. Scott. Monkey. A monkey. Chimp is answer number four, as in the tea commercials. But there are three more popular ones, Liz. Dog. A dog. It's the top answer. What are you going to do? Hey. Well, we join your family. No conferring. So we come to you, Isa. What do you think? Tiger. A tiger. Put a tiger in your tank. <laughs> yes, it's answer number three. Well played. Mary? A cat, please. All right, Mary thinks a cat. <laughs> it's answer number two. Well played. All those cat food commercials. And you've got a prize as well. Peter? Get surfing in cyberspace on this super-fast personal computer which comes with a printer and scanner. Yes! All right. oh, thank you. Well done, Mary. Margaret, one answer to find. All lives intact. What do you think? Bird. OK. A bird. A bird. Margaret thinks a bird. <coughs> Lose a life on it. Jesse, what do you think? I was going to see horses. Horses? Yes. OK, it's not just the advertisers that make a pile. We're looking for... <laughs> <laughs> To keep in the game, horses. Yes, well played. From 30 odd pounds up to 225 pounds in one round, and we play on double money round two. Eyes on me, Dave. Okay. Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name, apart from washing, something you'd see on a washing line. Dave. Um, pegs. Pegs. It's the top answer. Play or pass. So You're going to pass it over, the playing tactics. We're going to pass it over to passing it to women about a clothesline. All right, no conferring. Mary? A clothes pole. A, a clothes pole prop. or prop <laughs> is answer number three. Well played. <laughs> Margaret? Um, children build tents on clothes props. Put a blanket, a tent. On a clothesline, you'd yes. see a tent. <laughs> <laughs> a tent! No, it isn't there. Fancy that not being there. I do not believe that. Jesse. Flag. A flag. Uh. Okay. <laughs> you often hoist a flag on your clothesline, do you, Jesse? <laughs> on the top of the tent, we've got this flag. <laughs> now two lives have gone, so the Keebles might get a chance to steal Liz. You've got to go really carefully because they could steal and play big money. A Liz. Bird. A bird. All right, Liz, if you line. save that life, we're looking for a bird. <laughs> yes, well played. <laughs> You saved that life. Well done. Well done, Liz. Now then, Isa, if you find this answer, you're playing big money. The peg bag, Les, that the pegs are in. All right, Isa, we're looking for a peg bag to play big money. Oh. So, a chance now for the Keebles to play big money. Dave, what do you think? Squirrel, Les. A squirrel? <laughs> squirrel, Scott. Les. Squirrel? Uh, my mum, Les. Your mum? <laughs> oh. She likes to balance on the line, does she? Well, yeah. yeah. Does she have a tent? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Paul? A trapeze artist. Right, a trapeze artist. Do you ever play tents on a washing line? No. Don't forget that. They don't do. <laughs> Bernard? My wife smalls, but I know that's washing. That's perhaps. washing. What are you going to go with? We're going with a squirrel, Les. OK, if squirrel is there, then you're playing big money. If not, it's the Abbots who play big money. All depending on big money, we're looking for a squirrel. <laughs> no, so the girls, the Abbots. <laughs> you're getting the money, you're playing big money. You tried to play tactics and pass, but it came back to you. The missing answer, number four, on apart from washing something you'd see on a washing line is... Bed droppings. 
The keyboard and clue thorps. You're going back with driving lessons, a camcorder, and 187 pounds. Have you enjoyed the day? Very much. So. You've been great. The keyboards. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Cheers. Well done, Mary. Thank you, Les. You're playing big money. You're going to go for the South African Airways holiday or the car? Going for the car, Les. All right. Who's playing? My sister Margaret. My sister Liz. All right, Margaret and Liz, join me at the mic, please. Okay, girls, Liz, you're going to play first. Margaret, go and put the headset on, listen to some music, and we'll call you back when we're ready for you. I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer. The time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. 200 points will get you the £5,000, and the top five answers will get you the car as well, but you can't have the car without totalling 200 points. Okay, a little closer to the mic. Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Name something or someone associated with Robinson Crusoe. Um, Peter Pan. No, Peter Pan. A kind of fish that comes in tins. Tuna. A mathematical sign. Plus. A well-known TV soap. Dove. A, oh. <laughs> a Walt Disney character. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Oh, just in in time. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, let's let's see how we did. You can't do it again, I'm afraid. <laughs> No reason, can you do it again? Let's see. Something or someone associated with Robinson Crusoe. I didn't hear what you said. You said? Peter Pan. Peter Pan and Robinson Crusoe. Oh. Parrots. You're obsessed with parrots, you lot. You said Peter Pan. Our survey said <coughs> nothing for Peter Pan. A kind of fish that comes in tins. You said tuna. Our survey said 34 is the top answer. That's better. A mathematical sign. You said? Plus. Plus, our survey said, <laughs> top answer. The 64, two top answers. A well-known TV soap. You said... <laughs> yeah, it's really well-known, isn't it? It's, it's in the ratings there with EastEnders, Coronation Street, and my favourite is Dove. You said Dove, our survey said... <laughs> nothing for Dove. A Walt Disney character, you said... Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, our survey said... That's better. Three top answers on to the team. Rejoin the family. We clear the board and bring Margaret back. Welcome back, Margaret. Liz has scored 102, really steady scoring, and found three top answers. So you need 98 points, and you need to find those two top answers to get the car as well, OK? You get the same questions, you get 20 seconds, and if you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear this sound. I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers of the answers we've had? I can have 20 seconds on the clock, please, a little closer. Good luck. <laughs> Name something or someone associated with Robinson Crusoe. Pass. A kind of fish that comes in tins. Salmon. A mathematical sign. Pound. A well-known TV soap opera. EastEnders. A Walt Disney character. Donald Duck. Uh, uh, something or someone associated with Robinson Crusoe. Friday. OK, well played. <laughs> Rescued it there at the last second. Let's see how we did. Right, 98, we get the £5,000. And we need number one and number four to flash for the car. Something associated with Robinson Crusoe, something or someone. You said... Man Friday, we'd had Peter Pan and that wasn't there. <laughs> and then she was going to say a parrot, so... <laughs> you said Friday, our survey said... <laughs> yes, 32, top answer. We need 66. A kind of fish that comes in tins, we'd already had the top answer. You said... Salmon, our survey said... <laughs> 19, we're steady. 153, we need 47. A mathematical sign, you said... A pound, our survey said... <laughs> Nothing for that. You would have had minus or, you know, square, x squared, whatever. Um, the plus was the top answer. A well-known TV soap opera. You said EastEnders. We need this to flash. It needs to be the top one that we got, other than Dove. <laughs> you said EastEnders. Is it going to flash? Our survey said... Oh. 18 people said EastEnders, the top answer was Coronation Street and was worth 38, OK? And would have given you the money and we would have had the car as well. Mm. So, we need 29 from our last answer to win £5,000. We can't get the car. Never mind, a Walt Disney character, you said... Donald Duck. We'd already had the top answer, Mickey Mouse. This has to be worth 29 or more. 
You said Donald Duck, please be worth 29 or more. Our survey said... Oh. 11 people said Donald Duck, hard luck. We've got 182, we're going to double it. We added to the money you've already got, plus the wine and the home PC, which gives you an Abbott family fortune of... £785. Join us. All right. We'll see you. Thanks for watching. Lots of shows give away the big one these days, but Classic Millionaire was the first. Catch the biggest and the best tonight at 9 on Challenge.